the news with a dash of rhythm and poetry. Rappers Juman and Katie are the reason why thousands are now paying closer attention to current affairs in Senegal. Reporting using rap, their weekly bulletin called JT Rap or Rapped News has a following of more than 45,000 people and already has a slot on one of the country's private TV channels. We copy everything that's done in classic news broadcasts. That's the reporting, the debates, guests and also the weather. However, for us it's not about how hot or cold it is outside, but a weather map of social demands, since we noticed the demonstrations and frustrations within our society. It's punchy, musical and opinionated, and that's the major reason as to why it's now in its fourth season on TV. With just a few weeks to go before the legislative elections, they're now poking at politicians and candidates, rehashing pictures from the national news and spicing them up with graphics and images of their own. The tone of the news bulletin is satirical and humorous, and that is exactly the point. To make news with an off-the-wall tone, we are not journalists. First and foremost, we are artists, so we thought that we would create this concept. Just like Chick D from Public Enemy said, rap music is the CNN of the streets. The primary focus and audience for the rapping duo is the country's youth, and media students at Dakar University think it's a winning and addictive formula that speaks to the youth in a language they understand, so to say. Most of all, it's the originality, the idea of rapping the news. Really, it is unbelievable. And to see that it's made by rappers, they're not even journalists. At first, it was funny, and then I realized it was a real social commitment. But also, certainly, it helps push young people to have personal opinion about what's happening at the political level to get them involved, not only if they are aware of what's happening politically, they will certainly feel it's about them and think about being active in discussions. The two rappers like to hit hard with their political and social message from the street. Juman says he wants to give a voice to the voiceless and motivate the youth. This youth has to at some point take matters into their own hands. Like today, for example, as we enter the campaigns for the legislative elections, there's lots of promises that are being made to these young people. Promises about improving their standards of living and so on. But this youth is disillusioned because most politicians are going to promise to sort out their situation. But the truth is that they will remain just promises. The JT Rap channel in French and Wolof, the two main languages spoken in Senegal, kicked off in 2013 and has been going strong ever since, with a bit of help from Osiwa, the Open Society for Initiative in West Africa. To date, they've spread to Côte d'Ivoire and Mauritania, getting artists in those countries to try out the new form of art. Leslie Marungu, CGTN.